Sound the alarm! Oh, damn it. They've already been spotted, so the groups are going to try and get out there and attack them. And it looks like we've got... some potent combatants. Please just let them come over our traps. That's right. Okay, one just triggered. All the rest is triggered. Okay, let's have a look at the damage that's been done. God, Goblin's left foot is gone. Who lost their left foot? Was it you? Quite a lot of Goblin blood, actually. Oh, you're in good health. What about you, then? Missing his left foot, bleeding from his left foot, can no longer walk. Did you get hit at all? Nope, good health. And you. Bleeding from his left foot and head. How on earth did you get hit in the head? Maybe you fell over on your head and the trap went off. Okay, not bad. Now would be the time for everyone to attack, though. So go for the fighters. All squads. There we go. One goblin down, two goblins down. You're a goner, your armor's gone. Yep. There we are. Not a bad fight, all things told. String and padding. Uh, ooh, someone lost their weapon. Uh, sorry, their armor. Did anyone else die? No, no one else died. Fantastic. Oh, I need to ring the bell. Sound the all clear. There we go. Someone get out there and reset all these traps for me. There we go. And then someone else bring in all of the uh, goblin bits. We got much worn armor to melt down. Also, unsuspend that. There we go. Absolutely perfect. We're not doing too badly. Those traps actually do quite a lot of damage as well. I'm liking it. Liking it a lot. Still got an awful lot that we need to clear up down here, though. I'm going to set up a stockpile for ores, I think. We'll set it as a priority to uh, goods, coal, and metal ores. There we go. And we'll get some crates made. Four should do us. There we go. Hello, PK Slayer. Right, as soon as we get those crates made, then we should be able to haul a significant amount of stuff up here fairly quickly. There we go. Perfect. Now, hopefully, there's a couple of wheelbarrows that'll be used to go and grab that ore. 
I would like to set this up no longer to take coal or... Well, coal actually isn't being stored there. Uh, or ores. There we are. Sorted. You get... I knew that was going to happen again. Right, all squads attack. Beat you to death with a wheelbarrow if that's what you want to do. You notice all the people that don't do regular amounts of uh, tree harvesting or plant growing move so much slower than all the others. Unfortunately, there's really nothing we can do about the storage there. Uh, well, I guess there is something I could do, but... Uh, not sure I want to do it is the, is the real issue. Oh, all right, then. Let's make a new storage area just for... rocks back there. and get some of the dirt from around our fortress as well all into one place <laughs> am I proud that you're addicted to tea? I can't say that I'm proud that you're addicted to anything but of all the things you could be addicted to yes tea is a good one I know my mic isn't muted but Jenna from the Yellow Kingdom has arrived. Well, we should be able to buy a couple of things for you. Continue to push our animal populations forward. See what ones you've got. Female emus will take. Female alpaca will also take. I will trade you some copper... Necklaces and statuettes for them. You get. Uh, we can probably get all of your silver off of that. Um, give some more of your logs. Damn it. I'll give some, you something worth one. It will be a strawberry seed. There we are. Of course, now I need to disable you, otherwise, you'll kill all of my new animals. And there we go. Where are they all going? They going up there to gather dirt? Or something else? It is probably dirt, isn't it? Yes. Bulls. Not quite what I wanted, guys. My goodness. Well, I suppose we, it's good to bring in all of the dirt and just have it stored somewhere, because it is going to prevent random golem spoiling, but... The other thing I'm a little bit concerned about is we've got loads of straw. <laughs> Problem with that, eventually, something will come along and will uh, spawn. We can have straw golems, I'm fairly certain. Not that I 
I'm particularly worried about how powerful a straw golem would be, but at the same time. There's potential for it to be and good. It looks like perhaps we've been having several dirt golems just spawning out in the wilderness where I can't see them. And the goblins have been killing them whilst moving around. Rather oh, awesome in a way. Okay, we've almost finished with hauling in the dirt. Once that's done, then we'll start on the stone, I imagine. I need to work on the Great Hall again. It's really low value. But the idea of having to replace all of these walls, oh my lord. Still, there's nothing I can do about it. Let's, let's, let's start working on there, shall we? Ah, wait. Can't do that yet. I need to get into the corners. Now, we want wood panelled block, marble blocks, and by the look of that... I'd say that was apple wood. Let's try and get as much of this done as we can. Each one of these walls will add a little bit of value to the room. So it's worth doing it, even... Even just on the walls. Ah, yes, that's a very good point, Groon. Thank you very much for reminding me that I was going to wrap up the stream. Ah, oh, it's just too easy to get distracted with this game. There's so much you can do at all times. I'll just finish off uh, and build the carved walls in the corners. And then we'll... Uh, Call it there. Looks like we might be waiting for a little while for them to finish up all of this work. So on that note, I am actually going to wrap the stream up there. But a quick glance over what we've gotten done. We've added an extra layer to the Tower of the Damned. It's going to be a little bit longer before we can properly get that sorted out, unfortunately. What can I see there? Why can I see? Oh, I can see through the walls. I see. Kind of. I'm not sure what's going on there, but okay. We've also added Garoon's tomb. Fourth of winter, year two, was sucked off by vampiric greenskin. Got a skeletal uh, invasion going on down here. We've done a load of mining. Not just on this level, but uh, on the level above, and I think even the one above that. We have finally started work on planting the last of the tea gardens and we have greatly expanded our wheat production and soon our cotton production we're slowly restoring our yak population after the great yak migration of year uh, I think it was probably in year 7 just very early part of year 7 uh, if not then of year 6 and we've got a decent amount of emus and alpacas now so things are moving up in that regard as for the rest of the base slowly replacing walls in the great hall still waiting on that bed we've been waiting on that bed for pretty much this entire stream we have expanded our mechanics though quite a lot we now actually have some uh, an engineering station and we even have some self-powered traps along this walkway there uh, we've started making some jewelry as well and we've also started making some leather um, protection for our gnomes not a huge amount of protection especially since we're starting to see uh, enemy shot with bronze weapons and armor we might want to start looking into escalating our own protection at least for some soldiers i'm thinking the next couple of gnomes we get will be a dedicated military and i'm strongly strongly considering having them training up with shields and having just full plate mail bronze plate mail possibly two shields so that they very rapidly train up their shield skill and then we can get them into a um, tower shield formation so that they're able to uh, properly defend the fort. But that's going to be it 
for me for now, I think. So, I hope you've all enjoyed the stream, and to those who have been watching on YouTube, I hope you've been enjoying the episodes. But until the next time I stream, do take care.